There ain't a collab I won't try, and that's why we're bringing that meatloaf back. Welcome to Everett Barbecue. I'm Joe Everett, and today I'm doing a collab started by Cooking with Corey. Hashtag meatloaf throwdown, which is perfect for me because I love meat, fire, and wedding crashers. I don't do no regular meatloaf though. I stuff my meatloaf up with bacon and cheese. And to make sure my little buddy doesn't get cold, I wrap that thing up in a bacon weave and turn it into a barbecue beef fatty, son. First things first, we gotta chop up the celery and onions. Nice and fine now. All right, it's onion time. I'm just going two pounds, 80, 20. And we're throwing, douse it with a little bit of my AP rub. Go with this not just for beef. I rarely use other folks rub, but this is not salted. Hmm. Not just for beef, we'll see. Now the fun part, we're just gonna get to loaf making. Now it is time to build our meat castle for the cheese children. What I like to do is just build the uh, foundation here for the cheese to kind of sit on and you're looking to uh, cradle it basically. This will effectively be our meat roof. I'm going with the baby bell standards to stuff this bad boy. This is the funnest part of the whole thing. You just get to line up all these soldiers in a row, getting ready for war. And I think that's looking like nine. You know, I don't wanna jam 10 in here and be in trouble later. Someone's just gonna have to have that. Cook this bacon in the oven on purpose. I'm gonna see about lining this up with a little bit of insulation, crew. You know what I do. Okay, it's time to put the meat roof on the meat house to protect our cheese children. Structural integrity. For extra installation, we've given them celery so that it can grow up and be healthy, strong, cheesy children. You know it's bacon weave time. We'll start the weave at the top. Well, there she is. It's about as tight as I can get a bacon weave, y'all. Let's see how it looks on the other end, huh? This little fellow's ready for the smoker. All right, we're cooking with Kingsford for this cook and uh, I'm gonna drop quite a few chunks of hickory in the bottom pan, hoping that they catch. Hey, found some more. Okie doke, tumbleweed time.
I think we're going 275 for this cook. Get rid of some of that nasty smoke first. Let the first charcoals get on. Uh, burn out that tumbleweed. Get this up to temp and throw meatloaf on here. Ha 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 ha. Oh, I love me some meatloaf. Okay, team, this is what we're going on with. Uh, using the grate just for portability's sake. I think we got this master build up to 275. And pop it on this bad boy and hope for the best. We'll see you in a little bit, my friend. We'll get back to that feller in about an hour or two or three and uh, see how many uh, white claws I could drink. All right, we're at 145 internal on this meatloaf. Gonna glaze it with hot smoky lilies. Sounds like it's doing well. Audible crispy. Well, what am I doing? Sounds like, why don't you check me how I'm looking like. The bacon weave survived pretty well. What I'm gonna do is just glaze this on for some nice color. And then I'm gonna crank it up to 300 degrees. So this thing can climb on up to uh, about 165 internals what I'm shooting for. Oh man. You know that may be more barbecue sauce than most folks have put on, but I don't care. Barbecue sauce on the camera? Look out. Well, let's see about this. The fun part about the master belt here, guys, just crank it up whenever you want it. How about climb that up to 300 degrees? Thank you, Doke. All right, we're at 147 internal right now. We're climbing up to 165. Uh, we just hit 300 in the cooker. Shouldn't be too much longer. We're diving into this monster. Here's what we came up with. Just losing a little cheese, so I'm taking her in. Okay. Let's see how we did. This really looks pretty sweet. All right. I like the looks of that. Hey, you get back in there, you. Don't you mess around with me. Listen, you mister. That's our sliced meatloaf. I'm going in. I'm going in, gang. Can't stop me. There's my cheesy slice. Now I'm gonna try and rescue this Islando cheese here. And flush this up with the rest of it. Oh man. I'm gonna let that cool down before it scorches the uh, roof of my mouth. Mmm. Get another slice. Here you are, team. Feast your eyes on that bacon wrap prize. Huh? Okay, crew, going in hard. Mmm. Oh, my goodness. The bacon stuck cheese inside. I was just a good business decision. YouTube, tell me what you think. Bacon stuffed cheese, right? Really nice glazed crust. I like the crust on the bacon there. Smoke ring achieved. Gooey cheese. Oh, good to the last bite. Cheesy, gooey, bacony. Mm. Hey man, that's how we do meatloaf. I surrender. That meatloaf was off the chain. Uh, good smoke ring, beef flavor, savory as all get out, not too salty. The beef rub was a nice combo, but the bacon was just insane. We took freshly baked bacon, cut into bits, 
and baby bells, stuff nine of them into a meatloaf with celery and onions and wrap that in a bacon weave blanket so our little buddy didn't fret. And cook that meatloaf at 275 until it got to an internal temp of 145 and then I jacked the temperature up to 300 and from there I just glazed it with a little bit of Lily's hot smoky barbecue sauce. I waited till it got to about 165 all over in different areas of it. Took this thing off and it is still steaming, piping hot. You can search hashtag meatloaf throwdown to check out everybody else that took part in this collab. I'll try and put everybody I see in the description below as well. Thanks for putting up with this meatloaf cook. If you want more of my barbecue experiments, ring that bell. Click the subscribe button. You can join my tribe, jump in the backyard, hang with my gang and get to cooking with us. This one turned out real nice guys. Still steaming. I mean, I, I cut this clothes like 10 times. I'm a bad orator. Steam. See, almost a half an onion, no tears. Sharpen your knives, gang. Sharpen your knives. Meatloaf throw down, holy <laughs> that's a big hawk. You ain't seen a hawk that big. Well, that was AJ Hawk.